Researchers in Western Japan are pushing the boundaries of science. They're developing artificial muscles that are thinner than any developed before. They hope one day to help lift those who can't lift themselves. And they're drawing on some local know-how. This is a model of a skeletal leg that's being operated with artificial muscles. The technologies behind it are being developed at Okayama University. The translucent tubes on the calf are artificial muscles. They expand and contract just like real muscles. This factory in Kurashiki City is now cooperating in the development of artificial muscles. It has about 30 employees. Shikushi Seta runs the factory. Workers at the factory make braided cord, such as shoelaces, by twining several fibers together. They make a variety of other products, including straps, cords, and ropes for handicrafts. The artificial muscle they've developed consists of special fiber that's braided over a silicone tube. Seta says the company's braiding know-how was essential in developing the technologies. The cord is pliable. It expands after it contracts. So when air is put into the silicone tube inside this, the cord contracts. When air is removed, it expands. Because those moves are similar to that of muscles, the technology can be used for artificial muscles. Seta's team and researchers from Okayama University came upon a big opportunity two years ago. A global electronics maker based in South Korea asked them to join it in researching ways to put artificial muscles into practical use. They aim to create the world's thinnest artificial muscle. Seta conducted thorough research from the choice of materials to the number of fibers needed. He says the most difficult part was finding the best angle at which to braid the fibers. A difference in braid angles changes the rate of extension. A slight change in angle may affect the muscle's extension or contraction. Seta conducted numerous tests by changing the conditions little by little. Finally, he succeeded in creating an artificial muscle measuring only 0.8 millimeters. He says it's the thinnest in the world. Okayama University and the South Korean company have jointly applied for patents for their technologies. They're now trying to put the new technologies into practical use in a tiny medical apparatus to be inserted into the human body. Without the braiding know-how, we wouldn't have been able to develop the thinnest artificial muscle. The project team has high hopes for the super-thin artificial muscle. It envisions the technology being applied to nursing care equipment and exoskeleton bodysuits that could assist people who have lost their muscle strength.